I want to ask you to get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. You're going to need it for two parts of our video today. Okay, are you ready? Draw a big emoji of how you are feeling today. Here are a few examples. Now, draw an emoji of how you'd like to feel. Okay, then pause this video and talk to someone around you about the first emoji and then about what you need to feel like the second emoji you drew. Now we're going to play a game called speed drawing. Turn your page around and get ready. Without saying anything, you're going to get 20 seconds to draw something that represents one of these parts of the fruit of the spirit. And yes, you guessed it, that is our theme for today. You can choose between love, joy, patience, peace, or self-control. Afterwards, someone in your house has to guess by looking at your picture which one you chose. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Well done! Now, pause this video and let someone guess. Now we're ready to continue. Let's listen to the scripture. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 and 25. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let's memorize the scripture together. Are you ready? Follow me. You've got to repeat what I say and clap the way I clap. Let's go. Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23 and 25. But the fruit of the Spirit, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, love, joy, joy, Peace, peace, patience, patience, kindness, kindness, goodness, goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness, gentleness, gentleness, and self-control, and self-control. Since we live by the Spirit, since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us keep in step with the Spirit. Well done, you did wonderfully. Friends, this scripture is all about living life God's way. Do you remember that Jesus rose from the dead? Spend some time showing everyone that He's alive and then went up to heaven. But we are not alone since we get to know God in another way, through the Holy Spirit. We are invited to follow Jesus in everything we do and the Holy Spirit helps with this. He talks to us through the Bible, people, and through your thoughts and emotions. You can start to see if someone is really following Jesus by watching how they are with other people, how they react when things go wrong, and by seeing what is very important to them. Are you following Jesus? I know it's worthwhile. Living God's way means really living and not just surviving. It gives us purpose. It reminds us that we can make a difference. And that feels pretty good. We want to know these kind of people, but we also want to be these kind of people. So then, when the Holy Spirit is part of your life, you begin to act like Jesus and talk like Jesus. You are good to people, to animals, and the world around you. This is called the fruit of the Spirit. It shows that the Holy Spirit is working in and through you. Almost like an apple tree bears apples, so a Christian bears the fruit of the Spirit. So here's the bottom line. We follow Jesus to become more like Him. And the Holy Spirit helps us with this. I don't 
even need the perfect words to sing I don't even need the perfect gift to bring Walking with you Jesus, you are my true friend Talking with you Jesus, makes sense of everything to sing, sing, sing I want to jump, jump, jump I want to shout it out Shout it out I want to laugh, laugh, laugh I want to dance, dance, dance Life with you is what it's all about What it's all about Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that the Holy Spirit can live within us and teach us how to live the right way. Amen. Bye.